Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and thank you all so much for helping us hit our 1,000 subscriber goal. We would greatly appreciate it. If you could, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow our channel. Subscribe, ring the bell, and enjoy today's video. The Seattle Mariners desperately need to add innings to their pitching staff as an overworked bullpen attempts to see its way through nearly 20 innings on a weekly basis. Could the answer be the recently DFA'd Milwaukee Brewers pitcher, Josh Lindblom? Let's talk about it. Lindblom has had an interesting career to say the least. He's a former second round pick of the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 2008 MLB Amateurs Draft, and he made his debut in 2011 and pitched quite well for the Dodgers. But he wasn't able to repeat his success in 2012, and he bounced around to a few teams before winding up in the KBO for the 2015 season. He transitioned back into the rotation in Korea and found enough success that he earned another chance in the big leagues as a 30-year-old reliever with the Pirates in 2017. But his return to Major League Baseball would be limited to just 10 innings. He would head back to the KBO for the 2018 and 2019 seasons and continue to find more success as a starting pitcher. In the winter of 2019, Lindblom returned to the big leagues inking a three-year $9 million contract with the Milwaukee Brewers. Unfortunately, Lindblom's third MLB debut would be delayed by the pandemic, but when he finally made his debut in 2020, he was actually quite good for Milwaukee. He appeared in 12 games, making 10 starts, and he posted a 10.32K per nine rate over 45 innings. His ERA wasn't that impressive, finishing the season at 5.16, but a look at his peripherals, including a 3.88 FIP and a 4.07 expected ERA, showed that he could be a solid MLB option who could start or cover multiple innings out of the bullpen. Unfortunately, Lindblom was moved to the bullpen full-time in 2021, and things got off to a rocky start. He posted a 7.34 FIP and posted an abysmal 0.4 F4 in just 16 innings, leading to his designation for assignment. So the question for us today is how can he help the Seattle Mariners? As of this recording, it appears that Marco Gonzalez is set to return to the rotation in six days, giving Seattle six healthy starters for the first time in about a month, pending Yusei Kikuchi's back spasms. But the Mariners haven't been getting a ton of innings from their starters lately, as Justin Dunn has struggled to get through the sixth, Logan Gilbert has never gotten to the fifth inning, and Justice Sheffield and Chris Flexen are struggling to get through the lineup more than once or twice at the moment. We also shouldn't assume that Marco Gonzalez will be ready to pick up his normal workload upon his return. He hasn't pitched in a month, so that might be expecting just a bit too much from him. Lynn Bloom's experience as a reliever and a starter make him a pretty good fit to pick up the slack and he could even be used as an opener. Lindblom does have one specific skill that the Mariners seem to place high value on, and that is insane fastball spin rates. In 2020, Lindblom's fastball spin rate in the, was in the 94th percentile, and even though he struggled in 2021, he can still spin the fastball as it currently sits in the 91st percentile. The spin rate analytics and the ability to miss bats, as well as cover multiple innings, both as a starter or a reliever, makes him a pretty appealing option to a team like the Seattle Mariners, and he would only cost the Mariners roughly $5 million split over the next two seasons if they claimed him on waivers. Lindblom's versatility and raw stuff seem like a natural fit for the Mariners, and if he can get to the Mariners in the waiver priority, he would make for an interesting pickup. That's all we have for you this time. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe. All of our socials will be in the description down below. Leave a comment and let us know, would you like to see Josh Lindblom in a Seattle Mariners uniform? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in another life. Peace out.